So in today's episode, what we're going to be going through is setting up an account with Cuddy Link, with Cuddy Back, excuse me, going up and updating the camera's firmware, and then also setting the time and setting the calendar. And you watch this episode, you're going to get all that information and see how easy or not easy it is. So stay with us. That episode's coming right up. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. A podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and, and being a steward of the land. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. This is Season 3, Episode 4. And um, as Tim alluded on the introduction, we're going to continue down this uh, cuttyback uh, path, journey, is what we're calling it. Yep. And um, so, Tim, let's let's talk about uh, the, the previous episode that we did. We unpacked everything, and uh, we we went into a little deeper dive into the solar panels. But now, I've got these cameras. I pulled them out. What's going to be the first thing I want to do? You know, as a customer purchasing these four pack, what am I going to do first with these cameras? The very first thing you're going to want to do is register the register the cameras the cutty back digital camera system comes with a one-year warranty if you if you uh, register the camera online within 14 days from your purchase they automatically extend the warranty to two years you definitely want to do that that's a big deal it's a huge investment um and uh they're built built tough um we'll include that in this episode so i know you took me through that and we videotaped it so Hopefully that helps folks um, as they're walking through this. So, Hi Joel, so we are going to be putting some batteries in these cameras. I think it's worth noting I bought, I have two different J series cameras. This one is a D battery camera. This is the four pack that I just purchased. I think the D cell is the way to go. I think it will have extended battery life or you know it's got a lot more capacity if if you will and then i bought a couple from the neighbor up the road at a discount so um, he got rid of them just because they they eat batteries like candy as we mentioned earlier so these have 12 double a batteries so we're gonna what we're gonna do today is we're gonna register the product which i've already done on these but i'll show you what it takes to do that and then uh update the firmware. I have not updated the firmware on these and then we'll get all the clocks set on them. So that's what we're going to go through for today. So with that, let's get started. Go out to cuttyback.com and then when it comes to up here in this right hand corner you see login and you don't have an account so you put in register as a new user so you'll just go out fill out your name put in your password your email address that you're going to use and then create an account so now that we've registered an account the next thing is is to register your product so We've essentially already done this. I've got, I've registered all of my new cameras as well as my old cameras. They're all J series, which I should have mentioned. There are two series of Cuddy Link Black Flash cameras. There is a G and a J. J is obviously the most up to date. And it appears that the home cameras are all G series at this juncture. It doesn't look like they've done any updates up here. To that so if you want to register a new item you put in your product name your the model number the serial number where you purchased what you paid for it and that's them making sure that uh, their vendors are keeping the price point and then your purchase date and then save your changes the nice little thing that you can do here uh, a little trick that I learned is is if you hit if you go back after you've done save changes it will bring up all the numbers that you just put in and all and depending on if, if you did mine, mine are all one number apart. So all I had to do was change the new number 
by one digit and hit save again and I can register them all in relatively short order. The other nice thing is, is if you register your product within 14 days, you'll get an additional 12 months of warranty, which, which for these is, is pretty important. So I'd encourage you to do that. And then the next thing after it's registered? Yeah, I kind of left, left a step back is, is you're going to set up a Cuddy back, Cuddy back an account. You're going to do your registration. Then the next step we're going to do is, is we have to update the firmware. And all the cameras that you have have to be on the same version of firmware in order for it to work. So that's the very first thing we're going to do. And you'd rather do it now than get your cameras out there and find out they're not working. So. And again, we'll uh, include that in this episode of how to do that, and uh, hopefully that supports. The manual does a pretty good job yep. from what I uh, observed, um, but there's nothing like looking, looking at someone walking you through it. That's right. So. All right, so our next step is we've now registered our product, but now we need to update our firmware. And Cuddy Link's website's pretty slick. We're at the home screen here, and you see it where it says update firmware. We're going to go ahead and click on update firmware. The instructions are really slick. I've got a SD card. I'm using a Mac, but I think this would be just as easy with a Windows, Windows laptop. And what you have to do is download that firmware to your, to your PC. So in order to do that, you just come down here and we have a J series. Uh, camera as I mentioned before so we're on Gen 2 release so we're gonna go ahead and just click on that allow and it dropped it right into my downloads and so what you start to see is it gives us two files that opened up and for right now as of 2022 the beginning of 2022 you start to see we have two files that downloaded and it's got a 1208-3-0FW. And so what it wants us to do is to take that file and that file only and move it onto the SD card. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna minimize this. I have my SD card right here. Again, I'm using a Mac, but you, it's gotta be fairly similar. And I'm just gonna move that right onto the on the SD card. All right, so this is the double, this is the D size batteries. Again, it's a J series camera, but these are the brand new ones we just, we just purchased. So usually what it'll say is it'll say welcome as soon as you put your batteries in. And then what you do is you toggle this until you get to commands. So we're at commands. And once we're at commands, then we go down to more. And we keep going to there until we get to FW. Firmware version. So what you're seeing in this case, it's toggling back and forth. It's a 71000 for whatever that means. So we're going to again put this SD card in, but it does not go in face, face up. It goes in face down. Again, it's not spring loaded. So you just put it in until it's firm. Now that we're there, we push the up key. Should be load FW. There it is, confirm. So it's actually updating right now. So you see it's busy, and we're gonna to start to see these lights going on to where it's, you can tell it's uploading, starting to toggle. It's rebooting, I believe, the camera. And it's complete. And then after that, the next step, and the last step for this video is, is we're gonna go through and set the time and time and calendar and the next step we're at is really setting the time and the clock before we go to set that out and test them out in the field so you click on the mode until you get to clock and as we see the clock it flashes the current time that's within the camera we click more and that takes us to the date we're going to go back again and go back to clock and we're going to set the date so all we're going to do is hit the up mode once and you see the time and our current time is three we're going to into so it's still flashing to stop it from flashing press the more button once and it moves into the minutes and then the time joel 310 310 
press the more button one more time. That's set. We go to clock. Now we want to set the time, same, same process. So, whoops, excuse me. Press that. It's January. Twelfth of twenty-two. And right like that, we're set. And once that's complete, we're then ready for our next step, which is going out to the field. Yeah, which is going to be our next episode. Um, so stay tuned for that. Our next episode is going to be setting at least the home up and I think one camera and uh, getting getting that network built. Yep. Okay. Hey, one last question. Um, you know, when you did um, any surprises, any, any ahas, good or bad, so far in the journey? Not yet. Uh, um, so I did, I did buy a couple of cameras from my neighbor and he had and those cameras are 12 double a's and these are d as i may have mentioned and these d's by they're it's it's pretty beefy you don't want to drop those in your pond because they're going right to the bottom yep yeah. so i think the d battery is going to provide a lot of uh backup power to the solar yeah yeah beefy all right anything else to add nope that's it all right with that until next time be safe be safe have, have fun, fun and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.